Hey guys, did you know that Starbucks has its new holiday drinks? I'm not a big holiday drink fan, but hey man, it is getting close to the holidays and a lot of people in my neighborhood are putting up their Christmas lights. So I think I might do the same, but that's not really what we're here to talk about today. Today, I want to talk to you about hands down the best presets if you're editing with Leica DNG files that are out there on the market, bar none. I have not found anything better. I have used them all. As you will see when I uh, cut to my screen, that you will see that I own a lot of presets. And every preset that I buy, I do use for different situations. Sometimes I'm using them to brand content for different content providers that I provide images for. Sometimes I use them for a variety of different things, but when I'm editing my Leica files for my M10 or my Leica M240 or the M9 that I used to own and the M8 I used to own, there is not a better set of presets than Ben Cascade's presets from Meridian Presets. Now, I know you're probably like, oh my gosh, are we really talking about presets? Yeah, yeah, this is exactly what we're doing. We're talking about presets and we're talking about presets that's going to help you get the most out of your Leica DNG files. So I'm going to show you a wedding that I shot recently um, in a variety of different lighting situations from inside to outside to uh, sunset to reception to after dark where there's just a little bit of light available all shot on my Leica M10. And my, I believe I shot the vast majority of these images on, um, oh my gosh, well, I forgot what lens I shot this on. I'm lying to you. I didn't forget. I just had a brain fart there, but I shot this on my Carl Zeiss 50 1.5 sonar ZM lens. And yeah, so we're going to jump into this and now I'm going to cut away to my screen using magic. All right, guys, I am back. I currently edit all of my images in Lightroom. I know there are a lot of other programs out there that people enjoy. Well, not a lot of. There's a few other programs that people enjoy using. But I use Lightroom for a variety of reasons. And I actually edit on a BenQ 32-inch monitor connected to my 16-inch MacBook M1 Pro laptop that I just bought recently. But... I'm digressing. So I've got a bunch of pictures in here from a bunch of different of a variety of situations. And I have, if you can see here, the cascade presets here. Uh, now, Benj has a bunch of different presets and he has options for everything. Now, I personally like the north presets. Now, he has his separated in north, south, west, and east. And he also has super awesome black and white presets that I absolutely love as well. But I'm going to show you kind of like my workflow a little bit of how I use these to edit my DNG like a files. So I prefer to start off with the north flat preset. I feel it kind of gives it that kind of dreamy, filmy kind of like quality and look without actually crushing the blacks. It brings up the blacks a lot. So I also kind of come in here and I like to go into, so this is a Zeiss lens. For some reason, um, when I apply the presets, it doesn't find, it does not locate the correct lens profile. So I have to kind of go in there. And generally I'm a one camera, one lens type of photographer. So typically what I would do before I even get started is I would select all and then I would sync. I don't like to sync everything. So I will come here. I will hit check none. And the only thing that I'm going to sync in this is really my lens correction because I like to kind of go back and hand edit every image since I know that I shot Every one of these images on the Zeiss 51.5 ZM lens on my Leica M10. So as you can kind of see, this is just kind of front facing window light. Um, and you can kind of see kind of where the light kind of falls off here. So here I'm shooting from further back. Like I said, I like to use that north flat lens profile on that lens profile there. 
And some of the other things that I also enjoy doing, sometimes, every now and then, it does bring up the shadows a little bit more and the exposure a little bit more than what I want. Uh, this natural gravitation since it brings up the shadow. So I always like to kind of like tap it down in exposure just a notch. As you can kind of see by my mouse over here, it's like minus 10. So uh, now one of the really other really cool things is like, so each preset here, like I use North Flat, also has some skin tones that we've got going on here that you can kind of add and they're subtle, but they do make a difference. So again, here is just some side light. Let's go ahead and let's try South flat. Let's see what that looks like. As you can kind of see here, this is just kind of a preview of it. And you have the South flat plus and the South flat plus plus all this does does is really add a little extra contrast to the image and also brings down the blacks. That's a little much for my taste, but I have seen some of uh, images out there where people really enjoy it. But even the South Flat, man, that still looks a lot like film. And, you know, I find that while the Cascade presets don't work uh, on every file type, but dude, like it just does wonders on Leica files. But again, like I said, it does bring up the shadows. So I like to just bring down the overall exposure just a little bit to kind of help compensate for that. And as you can kind of see, it's bringing up those blacks here and it's kind of crushing, crushing the highlights a little bit. But, dude, that's just kind of how film looks sometimes. So that is, again, just front facing light. Now. Here you see this is just a cell phone. So let's go, let's let's try one of the West presets. So that brings up the that's just a preview. That's the West flat. This is the West Plus that you can kind of see here. And it does a really, really overall, it does a really, really good job with all of that. So um but I'm going to go back up to my, just my fan favorite, man. I just, I just love the North flat from Cascade. Now this is the Cascade two presets. Binge does have a, um, two different levels of presets. He has a Cascade one, a Cascade two, one's $20 more expensive than the other. But if you're looking for something to edit with, whew, look, you cannot get uh, better on this so he also has like cascade tools that you get with every one of your presets and they're just like minor adjustments and these are things that you could do yourself if you're just moving like going into the basic panel and doing these but it's just nice to have these one click adjustments to be able like i really love the shadows and that you can just kind of see the buildings there so let's go here this is more window light we're gonna go let's try one of these black and white presets Woo, that looks so good. I just like this basic black and white preset. Now, probably what I would do is I'd probably just bring up the exposure just a little bit. So, yeah, I mean, this, gosh, guys, I cannot rant and rave more about how great these presets handle Leica files. Here I have a groom. He's just opening up a letter from his bride. And I was very fortunate to actually catch him uh, going through these photographs you know, I'm gonna hit that north flat. I'm gonna bring down the exposure just a little bit. But guys, these are pretty much one click and done presets. I mean, like, oh look, he's like. So as you can see in the natural DNG files, you can kind of see a little red overshadow that is actually coming from the window. There was like a reddish balcony, so you're kind of getting that kind of red overcast. When you click that, man, it kind of it just gets rid of that red overcast. I mean, it's there a little bit still. But I just bring my exposure down a notch. I would probably even kind of come in here and just, you know, this is actually not the best framing. I'd probably come in here and bring the framing down to kind of center him just a little bit more to get the proper framing here. But yeah, dude, like that is just absolutely killer. Here's just another photograph. Let's go ahead and let's do this. Let's go back to the, just the north. And all of these are so good because they're so close to each other that you can kind of pick through any one of these preset families and get a really solid 
consistent group of images. So here we have, he had these like really, uh, my groom had a really like dope set of shoes with like a little bourbon and a little cigar action there going on. So I'm going to go to the North Flat Plus Plus or the North Flat Plus and just bring up those shadows ever so slightly, but you still get those details there. So here is the bride. She's like just kind of getting into her dress and kind of just getting ready for me to take some portraits. And I wanted to take this because I wanted to show you that she's like her face here is just kind of in the shadows. She's kind of side lit, but the way she's standing, her hair is kind of blocking the light from her flat from her face. And I just kind of want to see when I hit that North flat preset, I'll probably will raise the exposure up on this just a little bit. Dude, I, <laughs> I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I'm like super, super happy with that image. Here again is just another detail shot of her dress. I'd probably shoot this in black and white just because I feel like it just would like really just the way that these black and white presets work uh, on the Cascade presets is that they really kind of accentuate the dark sections from the white sections from the light sections in your images. So I'm going to leapfrog here. One of the things that I love doing at weddings when I'm photographing is I love photographing the couples at the weddings. I like to call these grip and grins. And again, I'm going to show you again how this preset just shines. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to hit this on the north. And then I'm going to go here and I'm going to hit the east presets here. I'm sorry, I'm actually... As you can kind of see, as you can see, like some of these things where they just kind of add in a little saturation on the cascade tools. I'm actually just actually running over there and pretty much all I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this down a little. I'm going to come in here as well. I'm going to go to skin tones east and kind of figure out which one of these is going to give me the best skin tones on this image. Now, the guy in this photograph does have a little overcast because he had a little too much sun. But I think we can kind of correct this ever so slightly. But maybe if we kind of come in here and we just, oops, I didn't mean to do that. And play with these pre skin tone presets here. Yeah, I did. I'm just pretty, I'm really happy with that. So here's another one of the groom kind of up close. And I probably need to go in here and do a little bit more editing on this one. But again, I mean, one click and done. One click and done. Here is uh, a lot of, they're just ever so slightly in the shadows. Here, I'm going to go ahead and click that. Dude, I, I just, the greens look green. This is the one thing that I actually, I'm going to go on a little tangent here that I actually really, really, really despise about presets is really how they handle the color green and what i mean by that is a lot of presets will just absolutely eliminate the color green like it i'm just not a big fan of that i think green was made for a reason and really how you can tell how a, the success of a preset is how it handles the color greens like the greens in the background of this and, and part of the reason why i chose this photograph for this video was i wanted to show you how well the cascade presets handle the color green. The green here looks natural. It looks natural in the leaves. I've seen so many presets that either do one or two things. It turns the green into like this lime green color or it turns the green to brown that looks like doo-doo. I mean, I don't know how else to say it. But I love the way that Benj has created these presets to really work well with green and kind of gives it that true film like quality. Now, I'm going to show you another photograph here that you can kind of see. This is a picture of the groom. And you can see where in this photograph I have, although I feel like he's perfectly exposed, you can see where the sun is kind of coming in here on... Uh, the sun is kind of coming in across this grass in the back that is bringing like the highs up. And you can kind of even tell in the histogram where the highs are kind of being blown out a little bit in the sky. So we're going to go back to, again, to my favorite one. We're going to go to Cascade Green. And all this does 
really is it doesn't eliminate the color greens. It just makes it a little softer, but still looks extremely natural. I would say that the Leica file, the way that the Leica file highlighted the greens actually made the greens a little bit more um, like HSL. Like they were kind of more like um, a little unrealistic. As you can kind of see in this other photograph right here, the greens are super, super bright green. And I, that's just not how the scene looked with my eyes. But when you hit this here, that north flat, or maybe if you want to go the north regular, you can kind of see it doesn't eliminate the green. It just makes it a little bit more realistic. So again, all I would do to this image, really, what I would just come down and knock down the exposure. Maybe I'd go into that fancy new mask tool, as you can kind of see. We're going to select subject. I'm going to get out of here real quick. We're going to select subject, and it just does that it's thing where it detects the subject and there you go. You've got it like one step up. That's probably not how I would do it. I would probably just notch it ever so slightly up like that. Boom, 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 dude. Like just a super, super dope images. Now here is another photograph of the bride. Now you bet you're wondering why I shared this photograph because it's ever so slightly out of focus. I shared this photograph not really because it was a perfectly sharp photograph. When you're manually focusing a Leica lens, sometimes you do miss focus. But I want to show you because of the bokeh balls that you can kind of see that's being highlighted in the highs here. And you kind of see the green and the green down here. You're seeing all these different shades of green in this photograph that is a way oversaturated for my taste. Sometimes Leica files do kind of do that. And when you hit that north, now you get like this really, really kind of dreamy image. Again, because it raises the hot, the highlights, it raises the shadows, I'm sorry. I was like to kind of notch that down to kind of get that green point back to where I feel like it needed to be. But an out of focus image, but I really wanted to show you how the Cascade presets handle the different shades of green that are in an image. Now let's go to a little rooftop action here. This is the DJ. You can kind of see the warmth there. Let's just kind of see what these files kind of look like. So I'm going to hit this north flat plus here, and this is going to bring the blacks down ever so slightly more than the previous north flat. And as you can see, it still looks pretty warm and it still looks pretty good. That's a one click edit. I, I mean, I'm pretty happy. I really wanted to put more of a highlight on the DJ booth and the Washington Monument that you can see than the dance floor or anything else that you can see. But even if you wanted to, you could raise the shadows up a little bit if you wanted to. That's I would probably still deliver the image before. Here's the bride and groom dancing. We're going to smack that north. Now, you know what we're going to do? No, we're not going to do that. Let's let's do something different. Just for giggles here let's go like in each preset pack you have an indoor hsl option so this would be like what the north uh flat would look like but instead we're going to hit the north hsl and that kind of does what this kind of does is it kind of gives a little bit more of what the wedding looked like visually with my eyes you're on the rooftop you can kind of see some of the warmth in the back clouds over here from where the sun is setting and it really still focuses on the bride and groom now i'm gonna go here this is still the sun is setting further and further and further we're gonna hit that north indoor and then probably what i'm gonna do here is i am going to bring up my exposure my shadows a little bit there yeah, I mean, it's not a flattering picture of the groom here, but you kind of get the point. So here we have the bride and groom. Now, as the bride's father here is giving a talk, we can do a plethora of different things here. We can go the north indoor HSL. You can do the south indoor, whichever one really kind of looks best for to your eyes. But 
I'm going to choose the West indoor and you can still kind of see some of the warmth. Now I would fix this image, uh, straighten it out. But for the sake of this video, I just kind of wanted to show you what this preset does. Now here we have in this very last image, this is actually the Lincoln Memorial. And this is a gosh, man, this is like late, late night. This is probably 10 o'clock at night. And all you can see is kind of the lights here, but I wanted to go ahead and let's hit this sparkler one or the direct flash. He's got all sorts of different highlights for different situations. Uh, also different presets for different situations. But again, I'm just going to hit that's what it looks like. I'm just going to hit this North indoor preset. It's uh, does the vast majority of the work is in the HSL plant panel is not in the basic tone. So that HSL panel, when anytime you hit one of those North presets, so that way you can still kind of come up here and just make some minor adjustments if you wanted to, if you wanted to bring up the shadows, which I probably wouldn't, but um, maybe you want to bring up the exposure ever so slightly, kind of bring out a little bit more of the highs there, you know, into that frame. But guys, like I literally cannot speak any higher of Benj Heish's Cascade presets made by Meridian anymore. I'm going to leave a link of all of these presets if you're shooting with a Leica M10 or any sort of Leica digital camera and you really want to get the most out of your Leica files. I cannot recommend uh, these presets more than what I can right now, but I highly recommend them. I think you would enjoy them. Benj, if you watch this, hey, great presets, brother. I appreciate you uh, making good stuff and for all of those who are out there creating, just keep on creating. And I just always like to end these videos with this. Presets are not going to make you a better photographer. Going out and shooting and creating well, there's no piece of equipment that will make you a better photographer if you don't actually get out and photograph more with the equipment that you have. That's all I got for you today, guys. I just want to kind of give you a brief overview of my thoughts and ideas of the cascade presets i'll leave a link in the show notes for this so that way you can download them yourself or go out and buy them yourself um especially support another creative another creator uh, i cannot speak highly of binge he is hands down one of the nicest individuals on the face of the planet definitely subscribe to his youtube channel yeah that's it guys thanks so much for listening and watching i hope you have a great day peace